Um, well, actually, no. I mean, people who are able to uh, uh, qualify, for example, for weatherization, there was a massive increase, billions of dollars, for people who are low, moderate income to be able to weatherize their home and save money right away. Thir up to 30% of energy bills can be saved. That uh, was part of the bipartisan infrastructure law, which is one of the four pieces of legislation that I think have the biggest impact on lowering costs for people. Yes, Kane's dying over here. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, you just need to spend more money on your house. That's how that's how that works. On you know, on your home weather stripping, you know? Just spend it on the, you know, the wet it's isn't that similar to kind of to how Barack Obama was like, "Well, hey, if you want to save like gas money, wouldn't wouldn't he talking about like your the air in your tires? I remember that. I remember that. Just, you know, some weather stripping if it's, you know, people spending more money. They they keep pushing this thing that Americans can't afford. More and more. The new IRS audit wave, Wall Street Journal, a CBO analysis belies the White House claim about new funding for federal tax collectors. This is a congressional budgetary office. Remember Mike Crapo? I talked about this last week. The senator had sought to, he wanted to bind Democrats to their promise to limit audits to high earners. Because see, the bill, and I read that portion of you, it said nothing in this bill is intended to. That's the bill. That's not an ironclad guarantee that you're not going to be audited if you're middle class. And so Mike Crapo, Senator Crapo, who was, was like, okay, let's, we need to really make sure that this happens. We need to have something ironclad. Let's make the White House honest. Let's actually make it difficult for, or make it impossible for this to be part of IRS's expansion plan. So he proposed the Crapo Amendment, very simple, and it was going to limit no, no audits for anybody who made $400,000 or less. And Democrats killed it. They would not allow it. And so the bill passed without it. And so the CBO made this point. Because they said, I mean, and if it's not, if, it, if their expansion plan wasn't about people who made less than $400,000 a year, as everybody from Corinne Jean-Pierre to Biden to Harris to everybody, why was it, why did they have such a hard time with making that crystal clear in the bill? And furthermore, why did they kill Crapo's amendment that would have ensured that? 51 to 50, they voted it down. So here's where it gets interesting. So Crapo was like, okay, so he went back to the Congressional Budgetary Office and he goes, can you calculate the effect, according to Wall Street Journal, that my amendment would have had on this bill? The agency found that the increased scrutiny on filers earning less than $400,000, get this, would account for $20 billion out of 10 years, out of a total of the 200 billion that Democrats want to collect through a bigger, badder IRS. That's the Wall Street Journal. The IRS expansion, as is written in the bill, as we have all been saying, is designed to do just that. They're going to get $20 billion from under 400,000. There you go. Now, one of the things that Wall Street Journal notes is the problem that for every tax cheat the IRS identifies, people like the Bidens, uh, several more compliant tax filers are subjected to unnecessary, needless scrutiny. They, and a lot of people, they get audited at random. And most people can't afford a lawyer to go to tax court or to contest IRS claims of tax liability. Our government makes it impossible. Impossible. They make it so hard on the average John Doe in America and Jane Doe. So people end up just paying them off. It's extortion is what it is. You have to pay a significant percentage of your income to the government to stay out of jail every year. And if you do what, even if you don't do anything, you could be just selected at random and then the full bore of the government comes. They use your money to persecute you and they have an endless supply of your money that they use to persecute you. 
So most people, because after they've already paid this agency to come and persecute them, they can't afford to write another check to hire a tax lawyer. It's, it's not cheap, people. They can't afford it, so they just write a, a, an additional check. And most of the time, these people are compliant, but they don't want to deal with the... It's more expensive to fight them and have a tax attorney than it is in many of these instances for people to just write a check. And the government knows it. That's why they do it. In any other profession, this would be illegal. It would be a RICO scheme. In this, it's completely sanctioned because the, by virtue of the government, a virtualist entity that appropriates it for the sake of extorting more money out of you, using your money against you.